Uh, for this video I'm going to dispense with the video of me at the front at the beginning. Uh, I'm not uh, exactly Charlie's Theron am I? Anyway, <laughs> a viewer has uh, asked if I can describe how to um, design a hollow T-shaped pipe. Well I've found a couple of ways of doing this and the first one I'm going to describe is as follows. We first of all start off with a circle and make it into a, an annulus P for pull. We'll get rid of this surface in the middle first. Delete key. Uh, P for pull. Drag up. A bit more, I think. Okay. I've got a solid. Uh, move. I'm going to make two of these. Hold the control key down and drag the red arrow. Then I'm going to twiddle it round 90 degrees. 90. Okay. Grab the hub and pop it onto the end. Uh, get it around a bit further. I think that'll do. Yeah. I'll select the blue pointer, then the up to button and select the center line and we get it nicely in the middle deselect now we see we've got uh, pipe poking through in the middle we want to get rid of this here and punch a hole in the outside so select the split body tool here and it's asking for the target object well in this case the target object is going to be the uh, the horizontal or top end piece of the pipe which we select over here then select the inner surface and we see what we've got That inner surface has put a cut line in anything in the direction of that surface. So it has in fact put a cut line at the back here, which we don't particularly want. But that will disappear at the, at the end when we do the final operation. And notice over here we've got two extra solids, which are the one I've just pointed out and another one on the other side of the pipe. Okay, that's all well and good. So now I'm going to hit the escape key to get rid of this cursor type. Then I'm going to perform the same operations body, but this time the target is this pipe, which highlights over there is the top one. Then select the inner of this one. Now we've got Two, four, we've got six solids. Now with this cursor in the little block beside it means that we can delete away some of the bits here. Ah, not that one for some odd reason. Anyway, I'm going to escape from that. Now we want to keep that one. And that one. And that one. So this is the one. Right click and delete it. And that's got rid of it. Uh, yes. Now, as I said, this final operation does the trick. So I want to select all of these. 
I'm going to hold the control key down and select them one by one and just select the combine that's made it all and just deselect everything get rid of that block in the cursor right and that's it finished just to prove there's a hole in there I'm going to select this face K key to put a sketch plane on it and I'm going to draw a circle P for pull select that turn it around up to select this face here and there we've got a bar running through the middle and we can see it here through this other tube so that's one way to make a T-pipe here's another way uh, control N for new design make circle P I'm not going to use an annual list this time just move it down a little bit P for pull on this drag it up select it control oh no we want the move tool control drag Make two of them, turn it through 90, pop the hub on there, select the blue, up to the centre line, All right now we'll make this into one part by control clicking these two, combine We've got one solid. Deselect. Then we select the shell. Okay. Stick with one millimeter here. We well, you can make it whatever you like. And click, and it's hollowed that out. Have a look at it. Hold it out, but it's it's left an end on, so click that end, takes the piece off that end. Whoops. And similarly click that end. And I think that's a downside easier than the other one. So there you are, there's two methods of making a T-shaped pipe. Hope it is interesting and useful. See you soon. Bye.